Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to unbox and assembly my first 3D printer, the Creality Ender 3 V3 SE. According to the reviews I've seen, it's still probably the best value and the best starter printer in the market. Let's do the unboxing and talk about its features later. Here's a plastic bag with a quick installation guide and other stuff. Another plastic bag with some tools, screws and a roll of filament. Nice touch from Creality. Here's the power cable. The LCD screen. the spool holder. The first piece on top of the case is the gantry. Creality packed it very well, maintaining all the printer components protected. The Z-axis has two lead screws, but only one motor. The belt on top makes the two screws rotate, making a simpler system and also more affordable. The base looks very nice and solid. Let's have a look to what comes inside the plastic bags. This one has a quick installation guide. The warranty card. Some stickers. A USB card reader with a SD card inside. This tool that I have to check what it is. And the cutting plier. This bag has a roll of filament some screws and tools. Before assembling, it's a good practice to loosen a little bit this nut here. As it is eccentric, we can move the wheel slightly from the x-axis rail, preventing the wheels to wear sooner than expected. As you can see here, I can spin the wheels without applying too much force, so no need to adjust. So now let's start the assembly process. The gantry just fit here, like so. Now let's use these six screws, three on each side. We 
have to put these two screws. If you see that the Y-axis belt is loose, there's a screw in the back that allows you to tighten the belt. I'm going to leave mine as it is. Next, let's attach the spool holder. Now the LCD screen. Let's remove it from the mount to put the screws more easily. As we are next to the LCD, let's connect the cable. Now the cable for the Z-axis motor. Next the main cable. We need to push outward these two clips and after inserting the cable we will need to close them back. We just need to use this plastic clip with two screws to attach it. Now the cable for the X-axis motor. Use this sticker as a guide to place the main cable on this clip below the X-axis motor. Let's check the voltage. For Europe it must be 230 volts. Plug the cable and let's power the printer for the first time. The LCD that comes with this printer is not touchscreen. It has a clickable knob to move around the menus. Let's select the language. After powering up for the first time, the printer is already doing some adjustments. The printer has auto bed leveling and auto Z offset. So there's nothing better for a beginner like me. Let's accept the values. Let's unbox the filament. We need to cut it in 45 degrees. Let's press with the finger that thumb bar next to the hole where we will feed the filament. We need to insert the filament all the way until it stops. Now of course, we need to try to print. I've already copied the famous Benchy to the SD card. And 
now we just need to select it on the LCD. It will take about 50 minutes to print. And it's done, my first 3D print. Looks okay, but probably can be improved. I bought also a different plate, a PEI build plate, that is better than the original that comes with the printer, and is recommended by more experienced users. Let's fine-tune the settings. On the main menu, let's select Control, then Motion, and first we are going to set the max speed. Here are the recommended values for each max speed. Now back and select Max Acceleration. Here are the recommended values for each max acceleration. Then we need to save the settings, selecting Store Configuration. Printing is done, so let's compare. At least on this model, I can't see any difference. Probably the first one was already good. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.